I'm back. Today we're going to be hunting lynx. Now, lynx and polar bear are the two species that I have yet to hit 50 harvests with. Now, one of my goals for quite a while now has been to hit 50 harvests of every species in the game. And now I'm down to just two left. And by getting 50 harvests of each species in the game, it unlocks a new profile banner that I'm kind of looking forward to getting. But enough of that. Let's go find some cats. We have a lynx. Now I actually got a male lynx call from right here, and that's a female. So this is interesting. This is very interesting. I don't really want a shooter. I kind of want the male. And I've also got a roe deer buck right here somewhere. I already lost vision on that female. I don't even know where the dog is. Is that her there? Yeah, that's her. Assuming that's her and not the male. Yeah, that's her. Okay. I might just shoot her and then track the male down. Might be a good idea. And we got a little roe deer buck. And I lost the female lynx again. These stupid things blend in well. Where did she go? I'll shoot her when I see her again. Oh, that's the roe deer coming in. Where's the dog? I do not see it glowing. Okay, well. Guess I gotta find this lynx on my own. Oh, there's a call. Is that even the same lynx? Is there like three right here? Because that came from way over here. Night night. Where's where's our lynx? Or a lynx. I'll take one of the females and then I'll go track down the male. I still have no idea where the dog went. Not pointing at anything anymore. Where's my GPS? So oh, he's with the hell over there. Wonder if he went after the male. Interesting. And there we go. That's a cat. I crawled all the way down here. Oops, and the dog whining means it's about to be on to me. Where'd it go? Okay. It's that female from before. Down she goes. Let's go check out our road here and then we'll go grab her. One fifty three. I'm I'm not really sure what's going on in the chat right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore it. I think that's the best bet. And there's our links down right in front of us. And then I'm gonna go see if I can find the track from that male and go find him. I'm not sure if this I'm not sure if there's two female links there or if this is the same one. But we got that call from like beside us. What's this here? 
That's the mail track, I think. I'm going to say that's the mail track, and I'm going to follow that. Let's grab our, our links. Only left lung. Pretty low weight. Yeah, pretty small links. But that adds to my harvests. Oh, okay, no, that track that I had was her, which means, okay, gotcha. So I gotta find that mail track. I believe he was over here somewhere. I'll go find that, and I'll see if I can find him. Oh, there he is. I saw blood. Okay, we got him. I tracked him for quite a while, and then I got a call from him right about there. And then I was looking down into this ravine, and I wasn't seeing him. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw him take off when I was looking at that male roe deer that was to my left. But we got him, so we're good. There's a bear over there. Not a very big bear. Let's go have a look. I don't know, this lynx doesn't look very big. But it is a male. So that's something. Yeah, we shot that female right about here somewhere. So we tracked it a pretty good distance. So let's have a look at what it's going to score. Yeah, only 28 kg, so not that big. Yeah, only a 9. We can probably shoot a bigger one than that. But, we got a male on the ground, so that's pretty good. We'll definitely go find a few more. And hopefully we can get one at least over 10. It'd be really cool to get an 11, but... I don't think that'll happen, but we can certainly try. Damn it. Come on. I just spooked the links that I've been tracking for about an hour. I sat here camping out at this group of trees for about 10 minutes. And I just finally got my first look at him. It is a male, and judging by my inability to get anywhere near him, I'm assuming he's a big one. Now the dog's still on him. He won't go too far. And we're going to get him on the ground here, hopefully very shortly. We are on the right track now. This is going well. This is okay. Hopefully he's worth the time. He should be good. Certainly bigger than the last one. Damn it, there he goes again. You can get a shot on him though. That one didn't hit. Oh, I think he's stopping. Yep, there we go. Come on, get my breath back. Oh, I hit him actually. Whoops. That was a total fluke. Alright, well yeah, he's hunched over. He's hit. That first bullet hit him. Alright, well, we'll just give him time to die then. This is good. I still haven't got a spot on him yet, but I'm hoping he's a big one. He's spooking like nothing. Like I was crawling at, I don't know, 80 meters. And he just took right off. So we'll see. We'll give him some time to die and then I'll go see if I can find him. So we have another male lynx right here somewhere. Now that one that I hit, obviously I made a terrible shot on it because it didn't die. And I was in the process of tracking it down to put another bullet in it. And I ran into another male. Now I haven't seen him yet, but he called from like right here. Oh, there he is right there. There we go. Let's just get a spot on this brown bear in case it's something decent. But it's not. Alright, hopefully this male lynx is better than that small male that we shot earlier, because that was kind of disappointing. And I'm sure that the other one that we have on the ground is going to be bigger than this one. 
That other one was extremely skittish, like nothing I've ever seen before. I'm currently almost two and a half hours in, and I'm, I would say I'm an expert of this game. And it's taken me two hours, and I still haven't killed it. I've been on it for over two hours. That's kind of nuts to think about. But he's going to go down. But for now, let's have a look at what we got here. 29 kg, so low again. Another small 9. I'm sure our other one is going to be a good one. So we'll go back to that. And hopefully he is as good as I think he is. But yeah, we're going to need to put another bullet in him. Okay, so uh, that links. I went and shot that male and came back and all of the tracks were gone. And I, I searched like that whole area and couldn't find any more tracks from him. Or anything about him, from him. Any sign. So that sucks. But we got a pretty good reindeer in front of us, so uh, we might as well take our daily distraction. It'd be a little bit better if he wasn't missing those shovels in the front. Looks like all the females are common. We're gonna take him with the 10 point. Oh, that's not a good place for you to stop. It's fine, reindeer are dumb, he's not gonna spot me, he's gonna keep walking. Damn, I thought this uh, 10 point was louder than that, but they didn't even notice. So I guess I'm gonna take another one. Oh. This one sees me, so uh, she can go night night. They heard that one. Alright, let's have a look at this reindeer. He does actually look pretty good. If he wasn't missing those fronts, he'd probably be pretty nice. 495, so not that great. And we'll grab our female, and I'm thinking I'm going to try to get one more links for this video. And for some reason, my shadow has no legs. Nice. I just kind of hover here, apparently. Alright, let's go find some Lynx tracks, and eventually find the Lynx that owns them. Because that's how that works. Alright, we've got another Lynx right in front of us somewhere. The dog is pointing it out for me. Now, I wanted to try to call it in with the e-collar and take it with a crossbow, because I'm pretty sure that's what my mission is. But then I spooked it, and I don't feel like waiting for it to calm back down. That it'll come back to the e-collar. But we're just going to take it the same way we've taken the other ones. He's obviously behind those trees, which is making this not easy. It is a female, by the way. Unfortunately. No sign of it yet. Thinking if I move to the left a little bit, I should be able to see it. Dog's whining at me, which means the lynx isn't too comfortable with me being here. Which is a helpful thing to know. The dog basically just whimpers at me whenever the lynx is getting close to spooking. Oh, there it is right there. I said something else move up here, but there's the lynx. I'm gonna get a spot on it. Oh, okay. It's this thing right here that was moving that was driving me nuts. Okay, there's the lynx. And we toppled her. 
Easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. Now, I've got an interesting idea for a picture that I kind of had in mind that I want to try to do, even though it's a female. Some of you may be familiar with uh, the brown bear picture I took a while back of a guy aiming a shotgun at a standing bear. It was pretty cool. I might put that on the screen somewhere. It was neat. But anyway, I'm going to try to kind of recreate that. Or not something similar. It's not going to be... You'll see. You'll see what I have in mind, assuming I'm successful. Okay. So I tried my best, and I'm going to be honest. It's not good. It, I mean, maybe it would look cooler if I had a cat that wasn't tiny. But I mean, it could have been worse. I'm still going to take the picture. And it's alright. It's fine. Except, and obviously we're going to sell her. And that's it. I'm going to go have a nap now. Okay, so that's it for today's hunt. I'm still a little bit bummed about losing that. Lynx that I think was big. I'm going to say he was a big lynx. But anyway, yeah, I'm still a little bit annoyed about that. But it's all good. We got quite a few lynx. I'm quite a bit closer to that 50 lynx harvest that I'm going for. So that's nice. Maybe I'll do a polar bear video in the near future to get them up as well. I gotta grind water buffalo more to get that dang albino that I want. And tomorrow I might do part two of the beginner series. I got a lot of stuff on the mind. Well, who knows what's gonna happen. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.